Hello, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about the authentication from Power BI service to Databricks, including how to set it up, as well as some of the troubleshooting tips. If you find this video useful, please check out this playlist on the other videos for Power BI on top of Databricks. Without further ado, let's head over to my laptop. Some people who are new to Power BI, um, they will set up authentication in desktop and then publish to Power BI service. Think the authentication will carry through to Power BI service. That's not true. Once you publish the semantic model from desktop to service, you will need to set up credential again in Power BI service. For instance, here we have a semantic model click on the three dots and go to settings. In the settings, there's data source credential. You're going to have to click on edit credentials here. And in authentication methods, there are three different types. Basic is the same as username and password in Power BI desktop. Again, you can use this method, but this does not support MFA. And the second authentication you can use is key. So this is the same as personal access token in Power BI desktop. You can use PAT to authenticate from Power BI service to Databricks. Just remember, typically your PAT token will have an expiration date and you're going to have to rotate your key. And the third method is OAuth2. So this is the same as either AAD or OIDC in your Power BI desktop. When you do this, you will click on sign in. What Power BI service is going to do is it's going to use your OAuth credentials to connect to Databricks. Unless you tick this box, so this box says report viewers will access this data source with their own identities using direct query. This means in direct query mode, Power BI will send the identity of the end user to Databricks. So if you have access control set up in Unity Catalog, it will check whether the end user have access to this table um, or not. Now, in some of the cases, OAuth would work in desktop, but it doesn't work in Power BI service, particularly for this tick box. When you tick this box, but your end user's identity is not carried through to Databricks and being checked by Unity Catalog. If you have that particular error, this is very likely that you are on AWS and is using Azure Active Directory or Entra ID. This is because Entra ID SSO pass through from Power BI is currently in private preview. There is a self enrollment available. So um, you will need to do this or your admin will need to do this and enroll to the private preview. So once you've done this self-enrollment, the SSO pass-through for AAD should work as expected. There's another kind of failure could happen. Doesn't matter what authentication you're using, your Power BI desktop connectivity to Databricks works, but Power BI service connectivity is failing. For instance, if you use the same OAuth or the same PAT from desktop, desktop works and service doesn't, chances are you are having a bit of a networking security issue. Uh, check with your Databricks admin if they have turned on IP access list or front-end private link. In that scenario, your desktop is probably uh, on your company's VPN and your private network, you are able to connect to Databricks. But because Power BI service is a SaaS solution and it's not in your private network and you don't have a gateway set up, that's why it's failing. I have another video explaining the network security situation from Power BI to Databricks. Check that out. Once your networking security is solved, your gateway is set up, you should be able to connect as usual. 
and VNet gateway from Power BI, just one GA, as well as the normal data gateway that's installed on VM. Both of them should support Databricks as a data source. So that's it. That's today's video. I hope you enjoy this series and comments if you have any questions or if there's anything else you want me to cover in this series as well. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.